Now, remember I told you there's two, there's two sort of phases of our summer program, you your first four weeks and your second four weeks. The first four weeks, the way I would, if you're going to look at importance, it's strength and then conditioning. It's only four weeks. We're not going to get them super strong, but it's, the focus is strength because we have some time. They get their week off, and the kids come in and lift anyways, right? But they get their week off for the most part. And then the second four-week phase goes right in to summer camp. So what's more important going into football season, any season, being super, super strong or being conditioned to play your sport? We all know the answer, right? So our focus changes a little bit. We still squat the hell out of them. The, 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 we're always waving up towards the test. So the, the, the weightlifting is getting heavy, 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 even though we're getting closer to the season. But there's more of an emphasis on the conditioning aspect because the kids got to run, they got to sprint, they got to cut. So I would say that, you know, if you're going to set it up like, you know, the first four weeks is strength, then conditioning. The second four weeks is strength, conditioning. Still have a chance to make them stronger, but you have to make sure that they can go through the rigors of preseason camp. Make sense? Plus, you're also getting them ready for their, their tests, their conditioning tests. Everyone's got different tests, but you're, you're basically getting ready to, to pass those tests. Make sense? Any questions? An in-season training, uh, summer training. We good? All right. In-season training. Two days a week or three days a week? We do three days a week, okay? Now, as I said to begin, our first two days of work are the most important days, okay? So as we go in season while they're playing football, the first two days, what we do on those days are the most important, okay? So the way we do it is we play on Saturday, we lift on Sunday. All right? Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Right? Sunday, Tuesday. Yeah, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday is when we lift. So, part of our general training philosophy is be fast and explosive and then get strong. Right? And then fill in the blanks with the fluff. So, Sunday, after the game, we're banged up, we're beat up, we're sore, we're feeling sorry for ourselves, we're hungover. We clean, hand cleans. All right, the load isn't going to be huge, so from a weight standpoint, they're not handling a ton of weight, but they can be fast, they can be explosive, they can work that skill. So we'll hang clean, and we do during the season we do threes and twos, but the percentages we use are more like what you would use for fives and sixes. So we might be in like that 70 to 80 percent range, just doing triples and doubles. We want them to be fast. We want them to be explosive. We don't want them to fail. So we're setting them up to succeed. You're not going to make anybody stronger during the season. It's, it's crazy. I can't remember. We, 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 did, we looked at some numbers. And like the drop off of guys that play significant time, I, I think we set it at like 25 plays or more a game. The, the drop off in strength at the end of the season is crazy. I, I wish I had the numbers, I, I didn't write them down, but it's crazy. You know who makes all the progress? The freshmen. Because they don't practice on Friday. They don't do anything on Saturday. They don't do anything, they come in and lift on Sunday, but basically they're just practicing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they're lifting four days a week. They make crazy progress. But guys that play, you're not gonna get them stronger. It just ain't gonna happen, all right? So, we got Sunday's workout, cleans, right? We're fast and explosive. Then they come in on Tuesday. Check that. Let me take a step back. Cleans. Then we'll do, like, rear lunges with the barbell, maybe three sets of three, something like that, nothing crazy. We'll do uh, valve slide leg curls, like, like a body weight leg curl type thing, and some abs. And they're gone. Simple. Get in, get out, get it done. Might even throw in some back, some dumbbell rows, right? So Tuesday we come in and we squat. Same idea with the sets and reps, same idea with the percentages. They're doing threes and twos with weights that they should do fives and sixes with. 
We want them to feel good. We want them to be strong. We want them to drop down and sit deep in the hole and all that stuff. But we're not trying to kill them. So we squat. We follow that up with a lower body pull, something that's easy on the hamstrings, double over deadlifts, valve slide leg curls, hip bridges, really simple stuff. Um, Pull-ups, abs, stretch, gone. Simple, right? We're just hitting the main stuff. If they just came in and cleaned on Sunday and did abs, if they came in and squatted on Tuesday and did abs, on Thursday we bench, guess what? It's similar. We come in, we bench, some kind of back work, some kind of very light lower body, you know, you, like body weight hamstring type stuff or like reverse lunges, uh, you know, just body weight reverse lunges or like around the clock lunges where you kind of here and you kind of hit all the numbers on the clock type thing. Whatever. Abs, gone. Right? We're just trying to maintain the things that are important. Cleans. And when I say cleans, I mean hand cleans. Cleans, squats, benches. Everything else, just kind of, just making them sweat a little bit. Make sense? Obviously, football practice is the, is the focus. That's, that's what matters. Questions? Comments? Concerns? Yes, sir. When you're coming from a football perspective, you're yeah. playing once a week, but when you're dealing with soccer, basketball, yeah. baseball, any right. other sport where they have multiple games a week, how do you, you make it work? training two times a week, or is it still? Um, the question was uh, for the camera. Uh, how do you deal with teams that play maybe multiple times per week, maybe on like a, a Wednesday, Saturday schedule or something like that? Um, you are very flexible. You are straight Gumby, all right? You gotta, you gotta make it work. So let's say, let's say a, a team plays, and it never works out this way. Let's say a team plays Wednesdays and Saturdays. Typically they'll get Sunday off, right? So Monday, they're playing Wednesday, so you can squat them eh, heavy, you know? You, you can get after a little bit. So I, the way I like to do it is Again, you're going to get the most, most of your work done early in the week. So Monday, we're going to try to get some work done. It's not going to be crazy. I may have like a women's soccer team squat on Monday, um, RDLs, but instead of doing sets of 10, we'll do like sets of five. We'll do the work, we'll use the weight, but we'll just eliminate the volume to, to get rid of some of the soreness, right? And then maybe we'll do like push-ups, pull-ups, abs, done. Right? They play on Wednesday, they'll come in, maybe we'll goblet squat, or we'll rear lunge, or some kind of squat motion where we bend the knee and the hip, but we just want to, they just played so we can't kill them, and they're going to play in another day or two, so you can still get some work in, but it's the same idea. You know, lower push, lower pull, upper push, upper pull, abs, gone. Does that make sense? Now, it's really weird when you have some teams, like men's basketball, women's basketball, they won't show up for like 12 days, and then they'll want to come in three days in a row. You just have to, you got to make it work. You got to figure it out. You know, it's, we don't have control over that, so you just have to make it work. And that's where, you know, you make shit up sometimes. Does that, does that answer your question?